You have freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rests on your shoulders. Gunnar, mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. Thank you for releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Why were you trapped? I am uncertain. My mind... still fragmented. The Rokestol of Valkyrs. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. I must return. This is none other than Gerdrifol, the master of arms in Valhalla, responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheriar. His what? His army, come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Inheriar wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdrifol had her hands full training that lot. yourself.
Louder than the last. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! This, my friends, is Kara. Now, Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara, the lass is Wild Storm personified. A Wild Storm? Aye, calm and collected. Then the air would shift and the fury of her storm would unleash. It was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Her tears would cleanse the blood soaked battlefields.
have freed me. Who did this to you? I remember only... pain. And my queen. She... locked me down here? But why? Ah, oh, Sigrun. Well, I must leave you now. I must find her. I must... remember. Healer? Strange. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet. Very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Good luck, friends! Run! your queen did this to you. But why would Sigrun hinder our duty? That's the mystery we're trying to solve, milady. Can you think of any reason she would have to do this? No. Without the Valkyries, those who died in battle will not see Valhalla. Helheim will overflow with the souls of the departed and drown Midgard in a sea of vengeful corpses. No greater shame exists for a Valkyrie. I must go. Attempt to staunch the bleeding. Farewell.
old wound. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain, she fell defending him during a reaver attack. Orun was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behaviour amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up with Valkyrie? Odin. And saw a kindred spirit in Orun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. over Midgar. This cannot be. I didn't want to believe it either, milady. But we have to find her. Where is she? I can't say for sure. But the rock stole of Alkirs. If the Council of Eight are reunited, perhaps she will answer our call. This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. Yourself. Ha! 
freedom. That's right, milady. You are free. You have destroyed my physical form. I have nothing to give but my gratitude. I guess that's all we need. Gratitude does not pay for weapon upkeep, boy. Valhalla awaits. Farewell. Sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. All the places! Yes. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. Well, well. Hildar, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free.
Thank you, friends. You have saved the Valkyries. Sigrun, how did this happen? Lanier, I is that you? You have been freed, but... Freedom comes at a price, milady. You speak truly. Countless winters we serve the Allfather. But only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one Queen of the Valkyries, the Goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. <laughs>